Alright guys, I am back, and let's recap from where we left off at. So, number 20, I spit on your grave. 19, I drink your blood. 18, it's alive. 17, the brood. 16, Black Christmas. 15, Race with the Devil. 14, the Omen. 13, Taurus Trap. 12, Blue Sunshine. 11, Suspiria. 10, Dawn of the Dead. 9, Phantasm. 8, Carry. And number 7, Bad Rob. So let's continue on from there. Coming in at number six would be Zombie, also known as Zombie 2 by Lucio Fulci. Probably, probably in my top five favorite zombie films of all time. Such a well-done film, you know, the whole scene with the zombie and the shark and things like that about these people who go to the city and it's overrun by zombies. And it's such a well-done film. I own the 25th anniversary special edition DVD. Um, I found it used for a really good price at FYE, and, you know, it's a very well-done zombie film that I'm pretty sure everybody probably probably knows about. I think it's Lucio Fulci's masterpiece. Coming in at number five would have to be the original Alien by Ridley Scott. You know, just classic film. Love Sigourney Weaver as Ripley. You have Yafa Kodo in the film. You know, I don't think I really need to say more about Alien. It's probably my favorite uh, Ridley Scott film. I love the original Alien. I, I say I like Aliens is the best because Aliens has always been my favorite of the Alien films, but the original Alien is definitely my second favorite. It's a classic. Coming in at number four would have to be the original Halloween by John Carpenter, the film that introduced Michael Myers into the horror genre, and that's all she wrote. Coming in at number three would have to be the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which I've talked about a few times before. I had it, I got to, I got a chance to meet Gunnar Hansen before he passed away. You know, just a really bizarre film, really good cast, directed very well by Toby Hooper. You know, I don't need to say more about the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's a classic. Number two, of course, would have to be Jaws. says it all right there. I'm blowing through this list very, very quickly because this this list, like a lot of these films are just classics. And of course, my number one favorite horror film from the 70s is not only my favorite horror film from the 70s, it's my all-time favorite horror film. And that is, without a doubt, The Exorcist. The Exorcist is the film where I love I loved when I first saw it. It's a really has a really good cast. It's directed very well by William Friedkin. Uh, Linda Blair as Reagan. You have Jason Miller, Max von Sydow, Ellen Burstyn, B.J. Cobb, and I and you know the, the whole devil's face when he when Linda Blair's laying in the hospital bed and she sees the devil's face. It gets me every single time. And what's actually a, tr a little bit of trivia here. The demon face that you see, the pale, white-face-looking demon, that's actually a woman, actually. Eileen Dietz is the actress's name. She's the, 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 the face of the devil. That's a woman. And she just, it was really creepy-looking. And that image still gets me, you know. And I, I, the whole scene when Father Marin comes in to help out Reagan, and, 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 the, and the demon knows he's there. He goes, Marin! It's just really creepy, uh, you know, the whole head spin and things like that. I don't need to say more about The Exorcist. It's a classic horror film. So, um, there you have it. Those are my top 20 favorite horror films from the 1970s. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys next time. All right, guys, take care.